Indigenous Work for the Dole participants are spending up to half a day on the phone waiting for Centrelink to avoid being hit with a penalty. The revelation comes amid mounting pressure for the government to fix its controversial Outback Welfare Program. Political reporter Dan Conifer has more from the Northern Territory community of Santa Teresa. Donovan Huddleston has been taking part in Work for the Dole activities for three years. Today, he's building a chair from used pallets. That's the first one. First one I did. How do you think it's uh, turned out for your first go? Ah, uh, pretty good, yeah. Donovan is one of about 15,000 people nationwide forced into the community development program. Participants lose payments if they don't attend for 25 hours each week. Eighteen-year-old Mel in Kamala is one of those who's been fined. Just waiting. He's on hold, waiting to plead with Centrelink for leniency. At least 300,000 penalties have been imposed in two years, including for people away at medical appointments or funerals. They fix them up here. What happened? Huh? What happened? I just missed that one day and fixing that up again. After about an hour, he gets through. But a Senate inquiry has been told others wait much longer. Long delays, waiting on the phone, three, four hours sometimes. Yes, I've heard of those reports uh, and I understand uh, uh, that they're valid. Uh, that has been for some time. The community's Centrelink office is just a minute across the road from the town's CDP provider. Yet staff here can't help those who've been fined. Instead, they're left on hold waiting to speak to somebody in the agency's call centre. Many are calling for an overhaul. And some of those decisions made locally um, where people sort of have a greater knowledge of what it's actually like out here at Santa Teresa. We're moving away uh, from the, uh, the, current, uh, the current model to a model that will fundamentally uh, disengage uh, with Centrelink. But changes have been flagged since 2015 and CDP participants are sick of waiting. Dan Conner for ABC News, Santa Teresa.